aunties, babies. It's been forever. I know, right? I know. For those who don't know where I've been, because I made a video and I posted it on IG, I've been having technological, electronic, just every issue imaginable. I'm still waiting for a warranty part on my camera. I'm still, my tripod, two of my tripods went nuts. My iPhone went nuts. I had to buy a new iPhone. It, and then the, the editing drivers on my laptop went nuts. I couldn't even edit videos if I made. It's been crazy, but I have missed y'all. I have. And I hope all of you had wonderful holidays, brought in the new year safely with mask on, socially fucking distancing. I know some of y'all didn't, but auntie gonna forgive you. We love you anyway. But I got a product review for y'all today. I'm behind on quite a few, but I finally got the chance to use um, two of them. I got to use them more than once. Let me say that. Um, why is this light like weird? I'm just going to have to look real light bright for y'all tonight. So the product review we're going to use today, now that I've used it twice under separate circumstances, I can give y'all full opinion on... Y'all see the personal saunas? That's right, this. Yeah, that. I swear by it now. I thought it was going to be kind of weird. Um, and actually, I didn't even intend on getting one. Um, it was a Christmas gift. So I didn't quite know. Like, I hadn't decided if I really wanted one. I'm on a group in on Facebook. I'm burping. That's Pepsi, y'all. Yeah, no, Auntie love her Pepsi. I'm in this group on Facebook about wives, fiancés, girlfriends. Y'all know Auntie was married. And the wives that are talking about, especially with COVID, we can't get to saunas, things like that. Well, I can't go in a sauna at all. <laughs> My asthma won't let me breathe in really hot, humid, and moist air. I can't breathe in really cold or really hot. It's not the absolute end of the world. Like my asthma is not gonna send me into an immediate asthma attack. It feels hard to breathe though for me. So like, that's why when people be like, I can't wear a mask, bitch. It's people out here dying to get their groceries just cause I wanna go outside instead of having to deliver. Shut the fuck up while you trying to go buy makeup. But, girl, ugh. Lies, all these crybabies over these masks and say your punk ass is at home. But it's all right though, because a mask mandate is coming. And some new folks sitting in that White House now. Anywho, <laughs> my VP looks like me. But this is perfect for me um, because, and I'm gonna show it to y'all, I'm gonna break it all down. I have it set up so I can show y'all exactly how it works, what it looks like, how much space it takes up, um, the issues that I had with it, um, the company when I tried to send it back, all of that, okay? So I unzipped the full front so I can show you everything inside, but it's starting to collapse because this does fold down and collapse into itself for easy storage and to stow away and put away. It comes with this little chair. It's like a little lawn chair. That's where the steam comes out of. This right here, and this attaches and detaches and easily stored. It comes with this waterproof piece of stuff, right? And you get inside, you zip yourself up, your head pokes out the top, and you turn it on and you start seeing. Let me show you what she looks like all the way zipped up. If auntie's nails can grab this. And it does have double zippers, um, so if you're inside, you can unzip just fine. Now y'all see why I want my tripods fixed and repaired and we're going to do it from the inside. Okay, so this is how it looks when it's completely zipped. Yes, your head sticks out of that like a Oompa Loompa, right? <laughs> like a whole jack in a box. Your head just be sitting there. This is so that you're, you can stick your hands out. Now, I've seen some where there's two arm slots right on each side mine doesn't here's a pocket the remote goes in here i'll show you the remote in a second i have just this and i like that my pot my arms can't come out because 
I would be trying to do the absolute most. So like I was saying, I like that my arms can't come out because I would be tempted to be doing the absolute most instead of steaming from head to toe. I used this under two circumstances and it was wonderful. The first time I used it, um, I just put on some workout clothes, turned it on and got inside and all was well, right? I put a towel right here, just my small workout towel. It's not even a big one. Why is my workout towel not with my workout stuff over here? Um, and it kept the steam from climbing up. So I'll put like an audio book in my AirPod or something. Um, or I'll prop my phone up and watch TV on my phone. And I just sit in there. Um, I think I did about 10 minutes the first time. I didn't stay in there too long because I just wanted to see what it could do. Um, yeah. Apparently, I got to start drinking water because I started working out and I'm on a meal plan. And this is cucumber mint infused water. I hate regular water. I have to make four of these a day. I only have two of these cups. But since I cheated and had a Pepsi, I definitely got to get my four in before bed. Mm. Available at Walmart. <laughs> um, I like that my arms stay in so that I'm getting the full effect because I noticed something. Having that moisture, that wetness, that heat sink in, it got rid of my neck and shoulder pains, not permanently, but it did take away some minor aches and joints, um, aches and pains. Blah, 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 blah. Why can't I talk today? Jesus, auntie need to get her life together. It did take away some of the aches and pains, you know, in my joints, the small stuff. Um, it loosened all my tight muscles up, literally. Um, I didn't have to breathe in the really hot, wet, moist, moist air. Blah, blah. I know people hate the word moist. I want y'all to stop saying moist. We're going to call it wet air for those who don't like that word. Auntie's going to accommodate you. <laughs> um, so it, it, it never made me have to come out. It restricts having just my neck come out limits the amount of holes that the moisture <laughs> and the steam has to escape. It doesn't come out of anywhere else except very loosely around here. And it takes a minute. Like my hair never gets wet. My face doesn't sweat for real, even though I still put on my shower cap just in case. Um, I don't know if y'all can tell, but auntie dyed her hair. So she can't be out here washing and crap all the time no more. Not right now. But here's what I didn't like. Oh, the remote is very simple. It's timer temp up, down. It, this is very simple. But these little raggedy ass instructions they sent. You can tell this came from another country. It's so basic. It doesn't tell you nothing. Why like, it really didn't. So I'm going to link the direct one that I bought made in China. Of course you were. The direct one that I bought. So y'all can find one that's better than the one I was gifted. As far as. The instructions, if you have an issue speaking to somebody who speaks English, no communication barriers, you know what I mean? Um, maybe a different company folds up better. That thing folds up into a square. It's like this big. Like, I mean, a, a circle this big. And the instructions, they're just, this ain't enough. I need to see this in action. So I went and looked online for a bunch of different videos, just all the ones that were shaped like mine, the ones without the hole, the armholes. I don't know if it made a difference, but right when they had to bend this thing like a steering wheel slash slinky, dude leans it to the camera. Whoever's on the camera is too busy looking around and you never see that final fold that puts it into the sides of a ring light container. Like it folds down to like this big, seriously. So space-wise, it's perfect. When I unzip it and just lay it flat, it's still space-saving. I drop it behind my dresser in the wall, like right behind my TV in my bedroom. I can't even see it. It, it folds. I mean, it lays very flat. Um, I've stuck it under my uh, sofa. I've got this chase thing. 
I've laid it flat, slid it up under there before. So storage for it is great. The hardest thing to store, technically, is the water container that can't be flattened. You know what I mean? I just store it over here on my nail desk at the very bottom. I, and it sits there by itself. Everything else, I have a place where it goes very neatly, tucked away. It works. Here's something else that, why I'm going to keep it. So I started working out and I'm doing this um, six week high intensity workout at home, blah, 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 right? Well, I ain't had a personal trainer hit the gym in two years. And raise your hand if you're carrying COVID weight. I'm not a fan. I don't care if people think I look high. It ain't about what y'all think. It's what I think. This ain't, it ain't right until it's tight. So, bars. So, I started working out. Well, naturally, every muscle in my body was screaming, hollering, and yelling, right? But before they could get into, you know, you got to break your muscles down and start up again. Before I could get that full-on pain, I jumped in a personal sauna. I put it right in front of the TV and I watched the inauguration sitting inside of that thing for about a half an hour, 45 minutes, chilling, kicking it. I have yet to have any workout pains. I don't know why I haven't done this before. I didn't know these existed though. And again, most gyms have saunas. I can't go on one. I can, but it's like three minutes. And I'm naturally curly. We ain't got time. Um, But I've had no pains. I get in it immediately after working out. So I do my workout. I pick my mat up off the floor like I put stuff away and then in my workout clothes I jump right in and just finish sweating because I'm already sweating from working out and just steam it all off I have yet to have not one workout pain or muscle pain from just new getting back into it so I definitely say two thumbs up I'm gonna swear about this thing I'm not a fan of the company. I'm not a fan of the language barrier when I was trying to explain to them these four pictures you sent trying to teach me to turn this rectangle into a circle. That's that's not sufficient. Um, like that's not going to work if I can't store this thing because it feels like you're going to break it because it has to bend a very specific way or you will snap a rod. I wasn't trying to do all of that. And then the issue was where they were like, well, you can send it back. I'm going to send you something back that I can't put back in the box. I ain't paying for that. I'll easily go get a bigger box. I'm just not paying for it. You ship me some stuff without adequate instructions on how to put it back in there. So, you know, we banter back and forth, blah, blah, blah. They offered me, I think, like 40 bucks. They gave me a $40 refund or him a $40 refund um, for me to keep it. And I was like, well, I do want it. I just want one I can store. And since I figured out how to store this one flat, either in my closet, behind my dresser or under my couch. Um, like I, that was the only complaint that I truly had. Um, the company wasn't pushy. I'm going to give them that. It's not like the love me wig company. They were not pushy. Um, you know, they just stated their piece once or twice, I, you know, or stated their emails. I stated mine. They explained to me, hey, you know, holidays, New Year's is coming, blah, blah, blah. We get back with you when we get back. I mean, I'm not going nowhere. Like, where am I going? You know what I mean? So the company's not the end of the world. Um, they did want to do the whole ship it back, blah, blah, blah. I even asked them, I said, well... Give me the return address. Let me gauge the $40 refund against buying a bigger box and shipping this back. It was still less than $40. So technically, I could have and just got the full refund back. But I actually wanted this. I just wanted one with better instructions. Apparently, it was just, it got to be so much of a hassle. I was like, give me my $40 and I'll just keep it. I don't know what they're going for now, price-wise. Um, you know, the same company will have the same product under eight different names with 15 different prices. 
Um, but I think they're, the average is about between 100 and 120. From about 90 to 120, I'm going to say, is, the, is what I've seen. But if you've been seeing the personal saunas, I'm going to have to get that thing a two thumbs up. Again, it takes about three and a half minutes, generally four minutes, to set it up every day. I only work out every other day. I'm on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, workout plan right now for six weeks. So on my off days with the group that I work out with, the plan, and it comes with a meal plan, everything. I We're going to review that too because that's worth a little $27. Um, I need to make so many videos. But I'm struggling doing this on my iPhone at the moment. Wrapping this up real quick. We're not going to make this no long old video. But if you've been seeing the personal saunas, again, I'm going to link below the actual one that I got off of Amazon. So y'all can know to either avoid that one or go get that one specifically. I am unaffiliated and unsponsored. This is just me telling y'all stuff that I've gotten that works or doesn't. But if you have... For one, miss the spa. <laughs> Cap that. If you have tension in your body, stress, physical pains, workout pains, uh, knots, I, I I gotta go ahead and vouch for this one. I do. You're gonna look crazy. <laughs> do it with the blinds closed because you're gonna look like an Oompa Loompa sitting in that thing just all wide for no reason with your head sticking out. And mine's black with blue, so I look like a dirty blueberry. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to say yes to the personal songs if y'all have seen them or if y'all been interested in them. I'm, I got to vouch for that. I, I do. And it works for me. It does everything I need it to do. Again, I use it three times a week. Um, but, oh, another usage I'm wondering about. So... Y'all know hot toddies, right? When we're sick, you got a cold. If we, we get a hot toddy, you know, for new people, do you know what hot toddies are? Out whiskey, inside of tea, you drink it and you sweat. You're cold out, right? Okay. So traditionally, growing up at auntie's house, you get a hot toddy, you cover yourself real tight in blankets and you sweat your cold out or whatever it is that's ailing you out. It's an old, whole old, old, old old home remedy I don't want to catch a cold because I had one in years but that would work better than a hot toddy would I wonder or take the hot toddy and then get into the personal sauna and sweat all of that out without having to wash your sheets again yeah I'm gonna have to swear by a personal sauna like yeah I'm going to definitely have to swear by it. Now, I'm five foot five and a half. Yes, I claim I have. The chairs that come inside are a little short. So I kind of have to make sure I'm sitting perfectly or, I, you know, I end up giraffing. Um, but I also stuck a towel under there one, the very first time till I could figure out how to sit. And I just stuck a towel under there. So if you under five, five, you're going to struggle getting your head out of there. But I think they also have it lower so that it's unisex for like a man. Cause it sits low. Um, but it I I gotta get that two thumbs up. Again, I'm not a fan of the company. Um, I'm not a fan of how to origami this thing back into its original circle. But if you can get over those two, like I did, you can't go wrong with a personal sauna. Okay? Two yeah <laughs> what is it two guns <laughs> so that's the quick version of this video i hope all of you have been well i know auntie has been absent she is coming i promise i have so many nail things i need to start recording and i still have two more reviews or three more reviews i have to get out <sighs> it's crazy but i promise i miss y'all i hope all is well and until next time, thanks for hanging out with Auntie. Talk to you soon.